Mars is red from all of the alien bloodshed during the Galactic War. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, I'm going to tell you why Mars is red. Mars's surface looks red from a distance, and it can even be seen from here on Earth. At night, it looks like the star with a little red tint. The ancient Egyptians called it the red one, and the ancient Chinese called it the fire star. And as you get closer to Mars, it actually appears more of an orange or a butterscotch color. On the surface, you'll also see golden and tan and brown and even some green hues. Now, when we discovered Mars, it looked bloody. So that is why we named it after the Roman god of war, Mars. Again, no, it's not actual blood or even alien blood. So what is it? What is it that gives Mars its reddish color? Now, the reddish color on Mars is all the dust. And that dust is iron oxide, Fe3O2 to be scientific. <laughs> it's rust. Mars' surface is covered in red dust. Now, there are a lot of rocks that are full of iron, and iron oxidizes in the elements and turns reddish. Now, oxidize means exposed to oxygen, and then it changes. So, iron itself is a shiny black until it oxidizes and turns reddish. Now, it's iron, but where did all of this iron come from in the first place? Now, this is really cool because iron is actually forged in the hearts of long dead stars. <laughs> so when our solar system was forming four and a half billion years ago, there was dust and gas swirling all around and iron was in that. And that is what formed our sun, the planets, the moons, and all those other space rocks in our solar system. Now, Earth's iron mostly sank to its core, but with Mars, not all of it did. Since Mars is a little bit smaller and has less gravity, the iron is in the core, but it's also shallower, just underground and on the surface. Something that we do know is some of the ancient volcanoes that are on Mars used to be active and they spewed out iron all over the place. And that iron came from underneath the crust or the surface layers. It's interesting. We also see that underneath Curiosity's wheel marks, the rover on Mars, there are darker brown spots. This shows us that the rust is just a dusty layer on the top of the surface. Okay, now we need to move on to how did this iron oxidize? How did it turn into iron oxide? Because Mars doesn't have oxygen alone in its atmosphere. So where did it come from? We think it most likely came from the ancient rains and water on Mars. It used to be water on Mars. Water is H2O. That's two hydrogens and one oxygen. So the water interacting with the iron and the rocks causes it to oxidize or to rust and then turn reddish. There are two other processes that could have helped out as well with this. Now, one of them is that years of sunlight could break down the CO2, carbon dioxide, that is in the Martian atmosphere. And that oxygen is what interacted with the iron and the rocks. The other one is that weathering from wind and quartz could have helped. Quartz, isn't that a rock? Yes, it's silicone and oxygen. So it's possible that the Martian winds broke down the quartz and this quartz is oxygen, which caused the iron to rust. I know, <laughs> this all sounds pretty complicated. But basically, oxygen interacted with the iron and caused oxidation, creating iron oxide, turning Mars red. Now, for fun, let's do a quick deeper science dive. The iron oxide appears red because it absorbs the blue and green wavelengths of light, and it reflects back the red to our eyes. Something similar happens here on Earth in our atmosphere. It's called Rayleigh scattering. You may have asked the question, like, why is the sky blue? Well, it's the Rayleigh scattering which makes the sky blue. Speaking of blue skies, all that rusty dust on Mars' surface gets kicked up into its thin atmosphere. So Mars' sky appears pinkish, not blue. But what we do see on Mars is a blue sunset. Yes, the dust absorbs the red light coming from the sun, so you see more blue light. Yeah, the sun gives off some blue light too. Now, on to trivia. 
the answer to last week's question of what is the name of the rocket used to launch astronauts to the moon is D, Saturn V. This week's question is, what is the name of the first artificial satellite? Is it A, Juno, B, Explorer 1, C, Sputnik, or D, Voyager? Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.